Hello everyone, this is Dr. Neha Chawan, the Professor of Biology. Today we are going to see a very interesting topic that is the sympathetic nervous system. Now, suppose it's a bright Sunday morning. You have decided to relax the whole day, right? So you have decided your favorite web series, your popcorn, juice, everything is ready. You are on your couch to enjoy your day. Suddenly, you hear the fire alarm of your building ringing, telling you that there is a fire in the building. So immediately, what comes in your mind? You have to save your life, right? You have to get out of that room. And on top of that, you are on the 20th floor. Now what to do? Now the system which is going to get you out of this dreadful situation and save your life is the sympathetic nervous system. This is the system which will immediately get activated in such dreadful situations. So let's see the sympathetic nervous system. So the sympathetic nervous system is a part of the autonomic nervous system. It's the part of the autonomic nervous system. It is related to the visceral reactions of the body. The visceral reactions of the body it takes into account. Now, the hormone associated whenever the system gets activated is the Adrenaline. It's the adrenaline. There's adrenaline shoot. There's adrenaline rush. So adrenaline is also called as the life saving hormone. Very, very important. It's called as the life saving hormone. So what actually happens when the system gets activated? It will concentrate the energy of the body, the blood flow of the body to specific organs in our body that are going to help you get out of that dreadful situation. So this sympathetic nervous system gets activated in very very important three main situations commonly called as the three F's. So in these three F situation, this system gets activated. So the three F's are fear, flight, and fight. So in a fearful situation, like currently we are in, we are on the 20th floor, the building is on fire, we have to get out of that building, right? So you have to run for your life. So even the flight situation is there. Fight situation is you are actually in a fight situation, you are fighting with somebody, then this system will get activated and activate specific organs in our body. Now getting back to the situation and correlating the organs it will affect. So we have to run, right? So the main thing required is what? Blood supply means our heart should function efficiently and to its best level to supply blood everywhere, wherever required. So what is going to happen? Our heart rate is going to increase. The blood flow is going to increase. Right? In blood vessels, there is going to be vasoconstriction. Blood vessels will constrict. That will result in increasing of the blood pressure too. Right? Now, next organ, our respiratory system. So, respiratory system goes hand in hand with our circulatory system. So, the breathing rate is also going to increase. At the level of trachea, bronchi, there is going to be bronchodilation so that there is proper and efficient breathing. These are the two main systems which have to work perfectly for you to run, for you to save your life. Now to get out of that situation, you should have a proper vision. You have to see the escape routes from where you can run. So your vision has to be clear, 
means your pupil. Pupil undergoes two functions. It's either dilation or constriction. So your pupils are going to dilate wide so that there is proper vision. But let's get back to time a bit. You are also having your popcorn and juice. Means the digestive system was also functioning at that time. But when your sympathetic nervous system is getting activated, the digestion process will slow down. Because digesting that food is not going to save your life. So the digestive activity means peristalsis that will decrease. That will decrease. Whenever you are in a fearful situation, your mouth becomes dry. Why? The saliva flow also decreases. Flow of saliva is also part of our digestive system. So saliva flow will reduce. Peristalsis reduce. Right? So these are the scenarios. Means the main organs responsible will be highly activated and the situations in which you can sideline the organ functioning that can be taken sideline and function later once you get out of that dreadful situation. If you talk about other organs like the excretory system, urinary bladder. So the urinary bladder muscles will relax. That means the sphincters associated there in, with respect to the urinary bladder and ureters, those will constrict. There won't be micturation in this fearful situation. Same goes with the anal sphincters. They will also constrict. No defecation. Right. Your BMR but will increase. So if you conclude what all can happen in this situation, once your sympathetic nervous system gets activated, we can see the following things happening. We can summarize it as follows. Like the heart rate, the heart rate will increase. Heart rate will increase. The blood flow will increase. Blood pressure will increase. All related to the circulatory system, right? Blood pressure will increase. The respiratory rate, the respiratory rate will also increase. A point related to respiration which is an important point that is bronchodilation will take place. Okay? Bronchodilation. Pupils, what will happen? Dilation of the pupils. Urinary bladder, the muscles will relax, the BMR that is the basic metabolic rate will also increase. So what all will decrease here? In decreased situation we have the saliva secretion will decrease. The peristalsis will decrease. The blood supply to the skin, blood supply to the skin will also decrease. That is the reason when we are in a fearful situation, our skin becomes pain because blood supply to the skin is reduced. When we have fear, a sympathetic nervous system is activated, the erector pili muscles of our hair follicles, they also get activated. So we have goosebumps that is also a part of the sympathetic nervous system. So if we conclude the questions which are asked from the neat point of view, they ask, whenever the sympathetic nervous system is activated, 
what happens to the heart rate? It's a neat question asked. It will increase. Again, a neat question asked. What happens to the pupils? They will dilate. What happens to the saliva secretion? It will reduce. Which is the hormone associated with this adrenaline. So that was all about the sympathetic nervous system. Hope you have understood the introduction, the brief introduction to this concept. Thank you very much.